G'day, it's Oscar here from Drones for Hire. So we're going to run through how you use Manual Plus now. So this is to show you if you're doing a virtual setup or if you just need some, um, some look back over the video just to get some pointers and, and remember how to do things. So first of all, what is Manual Plus? So Manual Plus is pilot flying, but then the, the drone system is doing the spraying. So it's doing the maths um, that we talked about in Manual and it's making sure that you're getting the right liters per hectare. If we incorporate the RTK into the system, the GPS is gonna be 10 mil accurate. So it's, it's a very accurate method for manually spraying. Where are you gonna use this? Well, in manual we talked about, you're not really gonna be moving the aircraft while you're spraying. In this mode, you are gonna be moving that aircraft because the spray is only gonna come out when the aircraft is moving forward. So we've got a patch that's bigger than our, say, six meter diameter circle, which is about the effective spray in manual when we're hovering. We've got an area bigger than that. So maybe it's, you know, six meters, maybe it's 12 meters wide, but it might be anywhere from, you know, 12 to up to 100, 200 meters long. It doesn't matter. What's gonna happen is when we press start on the remote control after we've put the settings in, once we stick the right stick forward, the aircraft is gonna move forward. It's gonna maintain its heading and it's gonna spray at that even um, liters per hectare that we've already se selected. And like I said, very accurate on the GPS positioning and very accurate on that, that rate. So a couple of things we have to do. First of all, we have to line the aircraft up ourselves manually where we want it. We have to make sure that we've got the settings right in terms of our swath width, because as you'll see, the aircraft gets to the end of a run, we stop the input, the pilot input, so we take our right thumb off, no more forward momentum, the aircraft will stop. We then press a button, that aircraft will move the exact distance that we've preset across to one side, whichever, whichever direction we've asked it to, it'll turn around and line up for the next run. And then it will follow that track back in a straight line, keeping that perfect distance from our last run, which is gonna give us that even liters per hectare. So, We'd use it in a circumstance where we want a quick application, so we don't want to have to do all the planning and setting up that's involved in your normal route mission or your fruit tree mission, where you're doing your planning, you might be running it through Terra to process and creating that automated mission. So we want some manual control or we want minimum setup time. The advantages of it are that it's really quick, really, really easy, you can use the screen and the position of the remote control, or sometimes we'll put a, a secondary person with a radio contact to help us nail down on that target. The disadvantages are, it's really tricky to bring the aircraft back in after you've done a battery change or a fluid fill. It's really tricky to bring that aircraft back in on the same heading as your last run. So look, I've, I've been using it for like four or five years now, Manual Plus, on, on various types of drones. And I will say that the T50 is a lot better than some of the previous ones because it does give you some functions to help you line it up. But still, every time I do it, there's at least one run where I've got that really dead patch or, or really green patch because it's really tricky to get it exactly right. So what we do there is we either limit to one hectare pat patches or thereabouts, because that's about one tank and one battery or we overspray. You know, something like blackberries in a really hard to get spot, we will just, just overspray and we'll just cop that, that double rate sometimes. And usually it's no more than, you know, 400, 600 mils, but it still is overspray. Okay, so let's have a look at how we do it. So the first, I'm gonna go into the remote control now and have a look at how we get Manual Plus going. So we're gonna hit the task selection mode in the top left-hand corner, go down to Manual, then make sure that we're in Manual Plus, M Plus, on the left-hand menu. So the first thing we've got here is our application rate. We're gonna go out at 100 liters per hectare. Note here that the flow rate is set automatically. So it's put us at 12 liters per minute. Our droplet size, we're gonna go at 50 microns because it's visible. Usually when you're spraying, you're somewhere between 250 and 500 for most herbicide applications. Maybe fungicides and pesticides, you might go down around that 50 microns. Our flight speed is gonna be a maximum flight speed. What does that mean? If we've got it set at, say, we just have to reduce our rate a little bit so that we can get that. 
get that flight speed up. So we'll just do that. And then let's put our flight speed up to 16. We'll go to nine, okay. So that means that if we full stick forward with the right stick, we will only ever go a maximum of nine kilometers an hour. If we half stick, it'll go somewhere in, in from zero to, um, to nine. So we have control over the speed, but we can never go faster than nine kilometers an hour in this case. Our height, we're gonna put that to three meters above ground. So our aircraft is gonna be terrain tracking and it's gonna hold that height. Now, we talk about this height above crop, not so much as a flight parameter, but as a spray parameter. Because the higher you go, the wider your swath is gonna be, but also the higher the risk of drift. So when we're spraying, this is more to do with our spray settings than it is to do with our, our flight settings. However, it's also going to also is going to affect our flight settings because it's going to influence how much time our drone has to read and react to terrain before it gets into trouble. Okay, our route spacing we're going to put down to probably seven's about right for those set. No, probably a little bit less going so slow. Put it down to six there. I'm just going to reduce that and put this speed up a bit more. There we go. Okay, so I'm happy with those flight settings now. Okay, the aircraft's on and connected. So we're gonna take off. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fly over top of this white marker over here. I'm gonna orientate the aircraft to where I want it to go, which is in a straight line to this other white marker. I'm gonna press start. The aircraft's gonna to descend to my working height. Then I'm gonna stick forward with the right stick and the aircraft is just gonna travel in a straight line and spray at our desired liters per hectare. Okay, clear the props. Okay, so again, we're manually flying. So we're gonna throttle up. We're gonna head over to our target area. Okay, so I'm gonna bring it in on top of my um, target area. I'm gonna orientate the aircraft where I want it to go. I'm gonna point the gimbal down and get it over top of my target. All right, I'm now gonna click start. The aircraft's gonna descend down to my working height, which remember is three meters. Okay, now all I need to do is push the right stick forward. As I push that right stick forward, you'll see the spray will start to come out. Now I'm getting to the end of my run. Okay, that's the end of my target species. I'm gonna take my finger off the stick. There we go, the spray's stopped. I'm gonna then hit the arrow, this orange arrow, which is going to move the aircraft to the left. See the aircraft will move over. Now I'm going to right stick forward again. Out comes the spray. And again, watch it terrain track up the, um, up the hill here. So holding at my three meters. Now if I slow down a little bit, so if I stick back a little bit, see it'll slow it down. But it'll never go faster than that 12 um, kilometers an hour. Now I want to move across again. So this time I want to go the same way. Once the aircraft settled, stick forward, out she comes. So this is really good I find for, for growers, especially because they know their, their country and they know where their weeds are. I use this a lot, especially for thistles. You know on a sheep camp, it's going to be covered in thistles. You know where that sheep camp is. So you just go out quickly and easily you can go from sheep camp to sheep camp and target your target species. Now if I slow the aircraft down you'll see that it terrain tracks a little bit better. Okay the faster you go the harder it is to terrain track. You'll also note that as I speed up or slow down that flow rate will change down the bottom of the screen there and that's what's giving us our correct litres per hectare. Okay that's manual plus. I'm just going to hit return to home, it's going to bring it back and land. Okay, a little trick when you're doing return to home, if we're coming in too high, on the way back in I can throttle down. Okay, and that just brings the aircraft down to a better height so that it's not wasting time.
Okay, so that's Manual Plus. So quick recap, um, really, really handy, very low setup time, very accurate, still requires pilot input for the, for the actual flying, but completely rate controlled, controls your height. Um, you can set up those boundaries with the, the maximum flight speed. One thing to note on that maximum fly spe flight speed, if that runs out of fluid while you're in manual plus mode, it will kick out of manual plus mode and suddenly your 16 kilometers an hour limit goes away and you can go up to 36. You do need to be aware of that and watch your liquid and watch as you're coming into obstacles. So you've got complete control. You can turn on and off a thing called course lock. Course lock means that it will maintain the heading. So if you turn that off, you can do a perfect rate controlled run along a, along a, a river bank, um, a, a dam, a contour line, a gully, anything like that. The, the issue with that is though that you can't use the GPS to come back across in a sort of free form um, manner. You've got to manually pilot it to, to match that other run. That's fine, usually how we'll use it is we'll do manual plus course locked. When we get to the edge where it might be um, not straight, we'll then click off course loss lock and we'll follow that, um, that wavy sort of um, path. So really effective, rate controlled, quick to use, um, no setup and, and pretty easy to fly for the most part because the drone's doing a lot of work for you, kind of like cruise control in a car. Okay, it gives you the opportunity to actually do it, get more hectares done in that still efficient way. Okay, thanks for watching.